Hi everybody, I'm Jamie Trell, CPA and Profit Strategist, and you are joining us for part three of our limited series all about increasing profitability in your business. So if you're watching this in March of 2022, each and every week on Tuesday, we are dropping a new video that goes into one of the steps that we recommend to increase profitability in your business. But before you go back and watch the other ones, I wanna make sure that you have taken the quiz because the quiz is gonna tell you what your personal next step is. And I do want you to watch all of these videos because I think you're going to get a lot from them, but you specifically want to watch the one that relates to your recommended next step. So make sure that you have taken the quiz at jamietrell.com forward slash profit quiz, because that's going to help really keep you focused on where you need to be spending your time first. So let's dive into the result, value your time. If you receive that result from the quiz, this is what I want you to know. What we really mean by value your time is that you need to make sure that the time that you are spending in your business to help build your business and deliver the product and service that you are delivering is being included in the pricing that you're charging right? How are you factoring that in? And this is most often a problem when it comes to solopreneurs. Maybe you're doing all of the work in your business, or perhaps you have a few employees, maybe a few contractors helping you out, but still you are holding a lion's share of the work yourself, right? And you may not be valuing your time the way you would perhaps if it was an employee's time or something like that. And I wanna make sure that we're clear that what we're really talking about here is within the realm of pricing, right? Setting prices, the prices that you charge your customers, your clients for the services or the, the products that you provide. I'm really, really keen, right? You guys know I love finances. Finances are my thing. And so I really don't think that pricing is a gut feeling. Right? I don't even think it's necessarily based on what competitors are pricing, although that should be a factor, but pricing is really a formula and it has to be a profitable formula if you want to be able to grow and scale a business and you want to be able to pay yourself within that business. So I'm gonna give you a couple of the main indicators that might show that there is something wrong with your pricing and something needs to change. And perhaps you may not be valuing your time the way that you need to within the prices that you are charging. So hint number one that you might have an issue with pricing is if you're hitting capacity time-wise, but you're still not making the income that you think that you should make for all the work that you're putting in, right? So if you think about all the hours that you are working in your business to grow your business, to serve your clients, all of those things, and you look at the total amount you've actually been able to pay yourself from your business. Now we're talking about past the very beginning and the very beginning, it tends to be this way, but perhaps you've been in business for a little while and you still feel that way right? I want you to ask yourself the question of, would I work for somebody else this number of hours to be paid what I'm being paid? And that might take sitting down and figuring out what am I actually paying myself, right? What am I actually, let's estimate this out on an annual basis, but then let's also take it a step further and maybe try to estimate that out on an hourly basis. How much are you actually getting paid? And would you accept that from another employer? And if the answer is heck to the no, that means you have an issue. I personally believe one of the great things about entrepreneurship is that in fact, it should allow us to make more than what employers would pay us. The reason for that is we're taking on the risk of being the business owner, right? We get some benefit from that investment that we're putting in of time and energy and money into our business. And so really our returns should be above and beyond that of an employee. So that is kind of, you know, the red flag number one that you might need to look at your pricing. Red flag number two would be that if you could not hire someone, right? If you wanted to hire someone to do the work that you are normally doing within your business, but you couldn't afford to and still make money. Maybe that's a lot of you who are feeling like, I can't afford to hire help. There would be nothing left for me. I'd have to pay them. And then I'd, I would be actually making less because <laughs> I'd be paying them more than I was paying myself. If that's the key, that is a huge red flag. If you would have to bring on an employee and you would make no money at the end of the day because of that, that means there's something going on with your pricing that needs to be fixed. Again, you won't be able to scale a business if you can't hire and still be able to make money. So we need to look at what's going on with our pricing that could fix that. And the third indication that you may need to look at your pricing is that your pricing doesn't really have a strategy or a formula behind it 
right? Maybe you're pricing just based on gut or you're pulling prices out of the air or you're trying to do competitor research, but you're just not really sure. Maybe your pricing has no real foundation. And for me as a financial expert, I know that pricing isn't a feeling, it's a formula. There is a formula for pricing. It's not the exact same formula for everyone. It depends on your business. It depends on a lot of different factors within your business, but it is a formula. And once you figure out that formula, it takes all of the emotion, all of the worry, all of the feelings, right, out of pricing. And we are way less likely to price ourselves under price when we have a formula, when we know what we need to price things at in order to make our business work, in order to have a sustainable business, right? In order to really be able to grow and scale. So again, if you haven't taken the quiz, make sure that you take it. And if you took it and got value your time, I wanna make sure you read through the resources that we've given you on that results page. We are gonna direct you to the best thing for you to do next to help you figure out how to price your products and services, how to do it in a way that can help you grow your business, and in fact, give you more time freedom back. Who wouldn't like to make more money in less time. It is absolutely possible. I promise you that it is. I know that sounds too good to be true, but I promise you that it is with good financial strategy. And so make sure to read all those resources and I will see you for the last installment of this Increase Your Profit limited series next week.